here we have a sinking fund question. It says that Jack Walter recognized the value of saving part of his income. He set a goal to have $25,000 available for emergencies. Assume he invests semi-annually to have $25,000 in five years. He's going to use a sinking fund and it pays 8% 8, 8 annually, compounded semi-annually. Find the total interest earned on the sinking fund. So what we need to do then is figure out our period. So we're going to use the table here. So to find the table, we've got to figure out the periods. So there's 10 periods, five years, uh, and he's going to do this semi-annually. Then it is 8% semi-annually, so we're going to use the 4%. So we go through the table here using 10 and 4, and we get this point. 0.832909. So we get a table value of 0 .8, 0 0.0832909. And then we're going to take that table value times how much he wants. So that's how much he wants, 25,000. Gives us this number in the calculator. Now note that we have some extra stuff here. So we want to round this. We're going to round this right now. So we're going to round to the nearest penny. So we look at the 2. So this is going to stay a 7. So when we round, we're going to need a $2,082.27 payment he makes semi-annually for the next 10 years. If he makes those payments, he'll have, uh, we'll just multiply the payments by 10, and he will have paid $20,000, well, $20,822.70. So if you want to figure out how much interest he made, we'll just take and subtract that from what he has now. So he takes the $25,000 minus what we figured out, $20,000. 82270 and we get $4,177.30 for the interest he made in this question. If you don't round correctly up here, then you'll wind up with a different answer down here.